<laughs> Overripe apples. Special dark chocolate. More chocolates. More water. Seaweed. Seaweed. Sea salt. <laughs> what do we get out of a potion such as this? Breckenridge Distillery's Dark Arts. <laughs> Welcome back to the Whiskey Edition. My name is Rob, and tonight, as you have seen, coming directly from Colorado for Breckenridge Distilleries, the Malt Mash Whiskey Dark Arts. Now, I don't think I'm gonna wear this stupid headdress the whole time because it's hot and makes funny noises, so I'll get rid of that. But it is almost Halloween, and I've waited over a year to present this. I have not seen this other than one place on Whiskey Tube, because I did a little shocking a little homework before this video and um, to kind of prepare myself to kind of see what other people have said about it only one person has said anything about it at all fred minnick and somewhere here i'll try to post or wherever i'll link his his uh review he reviewed a few things but in one he reviewed this it took him about 10 seconds and we'll get to that later so this is a fresh cork pop of the dark arts um they say in their online tasting notes. Overripe green apples, cacao, which I think is chocolate. Oh, chocolate drizzle. On the palate, uh, we push the malt to boundaries, purposely off-balancing the undertones of bitter orange peel, angular oak, caramel, green coffee cherries, with a delightfully finishing note of subtle essence of seaweed, and sea salt. Up to 10 years in combination of new American oak and used bourbon casks have developed a singular and satisfying whiskey experience. Well, that will be interesting to taste. A little background on this bottle from my standpoint, not necessarily from the distiller standpoint. I went to the Breckenridge Distillery. It was in 2019, I believe. Uh, on a, well, we were on a ski trip. I took a day off and went uh, down to the distillery uh, there weren't a lot of people there, so I bellied up to the tasting bar and several, many tastes later, uh, got through their normal uh, whiskeys that they were offering up. I do have a couple of those. I haven't gone through them yet. PX, Cas, pa pa Powder Hound, I think some others. And then we went into the distillery and had a quick tour. And you know, they have pot still and all that copper stuff they've got going, which is very, very interesting, but I was, um, uh, yeah, a little lipped, looped. Yeah, because I was a little looped at that point, you might say. And coming out, they said, you can, I think you can apply your tasting fee, which is like $25, so you don't just come in and taste and leave, to the product, and it's buy one, get one half price. My brain said, buy one, get one free not buy one, get one half price. Oh, and the best deal is this. And so I got, sure, I'll get a couple of these. I'll get the, the regular Breckenridge. Um, I should have them here, but I'll, I'll put a picture of them or something somewhere. Um, a couple of those and some of this and some of that. And my bill was 700 and some dollars later. And I was like, how on earth did that happen? I'm walking out to my car and I'm like, I gotta dry out. So I sat in the car for a couple hours. I think I called into a meeting or something. Come to find out, these are like $400. 
and it's buy one get one half price. So there's six hundred dollars and then the others were probably forty fifty dollars and I had those two and so I I was befuddled and I'm thinking God I hope this is worth that much money even at three hundred dollars a piece I hope because I had just kind of gotten into the whiskey thing at the time and finding my palate which I still haven't done yet is which is obvious and um, I don't feel like they put one over on me at all. I wish I had been in a little better frame of mind thinking, ooh, man, this is a great deal. Buy one, get one half price. And then this, it, I mean, it comes in this fantastic box. Look at this box. It's all about the box. It's got a little magnetic little closer on it. And it opens up. And there's no words. There's nothing in here that describes what's in the bottle. Just that it's the Dark Arts box, which is a very nice box. And on the bottle, which is a fantastic heavy-duty bottle, this might be also in the running for the drop off the second story uh, from Curiosity Public Guys. Um, just the government warning, produced and bottled by Breckenridge, so it is their juice in this bottle. Let's open it up and have a taste. Oh, this is also, looks like it's batch 10. Somebody said batch two was the good one, so they haven't learned anything in eight batches, I guess. Let's see, how does this, oh, I haven't opened this, so this is very, that is a heavy duty cork. Right there. It's almost crystal, maybe the bottles 370, anyway. Tonight, this is the Slytherin Girl. Gross. Tonight, it's not the S glass, it's the Slytherin glass. In honor of Harry Potter. I tried to do my best Snape imitation. That didn't go over so well for the dark hearts. Let's have a pour. Pour's nice. At $400, I'm not doing a long pour on this baby. New, new, new. I am shocked that it didn't have a seal on it because these, I'll have to check the other box to make sure it, because it, it, um, I have two of them. So the other one should have a, uh, like a seal or something. Weird, and it was, huh. Let it open up a little bit. Fred didn't let his open up. Maybe he knew. No, he didn't know, it was fresh. Because he pulled that cork off the same way I did. Hmm. I'm not a huge single malt person. I'm barely a bourbon person. Usually I compare several against each other, but I thought for Halloween, the dark arts would be more appropriate by itself. What could you possibly compare to a $400 bottle of not even single malt, malted mash, malt mash of no uh, provenance. So I guess the malt is mashed and then put in their pot still. They said for 10 years on the on the uh, thing I was reading. It's not it's not horrible on the nose, but then again, I have no nose. I don't know if we should go in for a taste or not. One thing's for sure, I am not getting green apples, chocolate, seaweed, salt, some kind of cherries. I'm not getting any of those on the nose. I 
I want this to be good. Cheers. Ah, I got the chocolate on the finish. Maybe some fruit on the palate. I wonder if Fred had a, well, he's got a much finer uh, palate than I do. Because it's not, not, if you watch his video, it is not as bad as he thought, but that may be what he tastes. It does have a long finish though. And the chocolate is for me on the on the very back end. Let's have another sip. Yeah, I get almost nothing on the front end. A little mouth coating. Now Fred got grapefruit. And it was a huge put off for him. This isn't hugely putting offing. Put, putting offing? This isn't a huge um, downside for me. I'm, um, it is 46%, 92 proof. So it's not super heavy, heavy duty, super hot. And his, his video was, I think, from 2019, which is right around when I got this bottle. And he did a whole bunch of others at the same time. Maybe it needs a couple drops of water. The chocolate. Man, that's really weird. I tend to prefer uh, my whiskeys on the rocks. Drinking these neat, just for these videos. Just add a couple drops uh, out of the dirty glass. <laughs> Not that dirty, I washed it. Well, that was more than a few drops. Let that sit. Can't really say anything more about this because I don't have anything more about it. I read pretty much everything they gave. Here's the, the topper, the cork top. That thing's pretty cool. And this bottle is hefty. It is a hefty bottle. It doesn't even look like 750 milliliters would fit in there. But it does. It certainly does. All right, let's go for a taste with some water. I'm not, I'm not really getting the seaweed and sea salt that they, they had in there, but I don't go around eating a lot of seaweed. Sea salt's just in cooking, I guess, so apparently uh, it could be there, but I do get the chocolate note, the cacao and the, and the chocolate drizzle. I do get that. I don't get a lot of the uh, green apple quick step going on and, or, the, uh, or the green cherry, so. Um, am I glad I bought this? I don't remember. But it is not, for Fred, it is a no-go, not even worth his time at, I don't, he didn't even give her a price, because he, I guess he doesn't do that unless he has it a few times. He was just like, whoop, I'm up, keep moving on. And I'm hoping it's not because I think I need $600 of, of uh, um, validation for my purchase. Uh, what I'll do, uh, I'll put this up against some other malt mashes or single malts. Some Westland, which is a local to Seattle. I'll put it up against uh, maybe Stranahan's, I think, is a single malt. This is not a single, it's a malt mash, so there, we don't know what's in it and they don't say anywhere that I can find. 
and we'll put them up together and see which one's best. And uh, maybe compare it to some uh, scotch, some you know, some original, some of the original single malts. So, anyway, hope you got a little bit of entertainment out of this video and a little more information. One is maybe to not go out and, and uh, jump right on a uh, Breckenridge Distillery's Dark Arts. Uh, but it may be your jam too. So that's the hard part is, unless you can find a sample of it, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you'll want to try it before uh, going, going whole hog on one of these. But the, the, the candor's nice and if that comes off, I can turn it into a, another infinity bottle or something. So anyway, oh, and buy one, get one half price. I mean, why wouldn't you want to have a backup of something? <laughs> <laughs> this price point. This is probably the most expensive bottle of bourbon I, or excuse me, whiskey that I have purchased uh, in this couple of years, and uh, that's that's saying something because I've spent a lot of money, as other videos might have shown. So anyway, you know what I say? Always pour two glasses because uh, you never know who's going to stop by. Um, I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great Halloween and a safe Halloween. Oh, and if they're giving out the onesies, you know, I kind of do that for the parents. I give out the onesies with the kids. But around here, they don't all take it. But, you know, I'm sure in some areas, keep them coming. So, cook up the parents as much as the kids. But not the kids with the parents. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Have a good night. Cat food. Coffee. Sugar cubes. Honey. More chocolates. One a day plus iron. Famous Dave's barbecue sauce. Jim Beam peach. Heritage bourbon whiskey. For Dave and Kira, fireball. Kahlua. Sinfire. Lunazul tequila. For the day of the dead. Jack Daniels, Rumple Mints, <laughs> all to make Breckenridge Dark Arts.